in five, four, three, two, one. What is up, everybody? This is your man, 7CO7GTV. Thanks for tuning in for another great episode, you guys. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. So, I've been playing around with different rendering settings on Vegas Pro 14. Um, I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos already, and everybody's pretty much saying the same thing. But for whatever reason, my videos, when I'm rendering, when I follow you guys' instructions, meaning other YouTubers out there that swear it's the best one, it just seems like it's not as crisp as it needs to be. So by the time that it uploads to YouTube, um, it gets compressed and it just looks, it just doesn't look as crisp as it needs to be. So I decided to start playing around with different rendering settings and I found something that actually is doing exactly what I want. It's giving me nice high def quality, almost to the T, same quality as it's been recorded from the Elgato, etc, etc. Um, so I suggest you guys try this out. Again, this is for Sony Vegas Pro 14. So this is the clip that we are working on right here. Check this out. You guys can see it right here. Let me stretch this out a little bit. So it's on draft half right now. Let me put it, let me see if it goes on best real quick. I don't know if it will, well, hopefully it should. Full. There we go. That's why it's a little bit more clear. So let me hit play. So the thing, the, what I'm trying to show you guys here is look how crisp it is right here, right? As it enters into Sony Vegas uh, Pro 12. So this is what I did. I went, in, I went ahead and brought this video in, which is the 920 by 1080, uh, um, 59, uh, 59 FPS, etc. Um, so it asked me if I wanted to use the current, uh, you know, video settings that's associated with this file when I first open up a brand new session. If you guys seen that dialogue, you know what I'm talking about. I said yes, because I want to match it, you know, the settings for it. So, and then after that, of course, I do I do this typically, because this is this absolutely is true. The disable resample is definitely a working uh, right there. It works great for me. So, long story short, when I went ahead and rendered it, this is what I did. Now, try this out. This is for rendering more than anything. So I'll go to render. I went to Sony XAV C XVCS. And this is the one that I chose right. Well, I chose this one right here. I chose the XAVCS long and let me go ahead and customize a template. This is what it looks like right here. Um, I was like, man, what is this? I've never seen that file. I was like, let me just play with it. Let me see what happens. This automatically came up 920 by 1080 HD. And in 59 seconds, I went to project, I put it on best, left, left everything else alone, I hit OK, I did a couple of test runs, I renamed it as 1080 60 frames uh, per second YouTube, did the same thing, hit OK, and it actually rendered in MP4 format. And let me show you what it did, check this out. Look how crisp that is. That is almost the same quality as if it's been recorded from the Elgato. Look at that, look at that, look at the quality on it. So we know that YouTube is gonna compress this video a little bit. So the whole point is to get the quality as high top as possible. So by the time YouTube gets it, when it starts slowly compressing it, at least you're still left with some great quality on that aspect. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Again, check this out. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. I decided to start doing my own thing, playing around with it, and now I have a new rendering setting on Sony Vegas Pro 12, hard Pro 14. I'm your dude, 7 Seal, 7GTV. Take care, God bless, and as always.